we are indeed honored to have with us a very special guest today and it is none other than nurgul zaneva president of the forum of women's ngos of kyrgyzstan apart from strengthening capacity of women's organizations in her country nurgul has more than two decades of experience in promoting women's political economic and sexual and reproductive health rights and advocacy against violence against women welcome nurul we are really honored to have you with us today thank you it's a great pleasure to be with you nurul what has changed over these years in the areas you work actually there are a lot of changes but something um still there something seriously changed for example there is a big good process of improvement of legislation in many of our countries but there are some changes that are not positive for example growing impact of religious fundamentalism which is limiting women's, uh, women's rights so changes are quite um some are expected some are unexpected the positive ones more on the positive ones first then we will come okay so women's impact on the legislation was serious not only in kyrgyzstan but all over the world apart from this i think women's groups were able to strengthen their own organizations we have and as you see in chiang mai strong connections between diverse regional groups central asia east asia south asia north asia etc etc so this is a very good people are in solidarity people learn each other learn from each other and they share their expertise what is good also we have not only strong networks and strong movements but also we have quite a lot of very mature very strong experts in many areas of women's rights of sustainable development okay <clears throat> nurgul in today's context of rising religious fundamentalism which we see all across the region imperialism militarism and patriarchy what new strategies and tools do feminist movements need to move to what we call a feminist world order and what is that feminist world order according to you and what are the tools we need now to counteract the forces or will that remain a dream let me just uh, i will remind myself 100 years ago voting right and being in the parliament was a dream for women so i think it is good to have dreams and struggle for dreams so uh, let's consider something a feminist just world order as a dream but some some dream which is in our hands uh, that we can manage for me feminist world order means uh, justice for everyone world based on equality on sustainable principles effective fruitful and bringing conditions for enjoying all human rights for every human being regardless gender race ethnicity and all other factors that differ us what are the tools we need to reach then now how how do we counter the current world order and the current what we call corporate capture i like uh, your question what strategies do we need when we talk about us we we are very diverse we have i don't want to say old feminists no 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 no, no. <laughs> we are the old we are the young uh, ones. but we have feminists who were already in struggle many many years mm-hmm. and we have new generation and those strategies that were used by the generations that brought changes are still working for example advocacy for legal changes we need it we need continue raising awareness uh, bringing services to needed people etc etc so we need to use all those strategies but we also need to transfer to younger generation all our 
expertise, knowledge, attitudes. And I think that we should use the some opportunities that Sustainable Development Framework is providing. I'm talking about, for example, connecting political struggle with financial. For example, we reached, not in the best way, but in a quite progressively, uh, there are some changes in legal norms. But unfortunately, in many of our countries, financing these laws, implementation of these laws, are still very low. We have legislation telling we provide you equality, but there is no money to support this equality. And I think now it time, it's time to use the use means of implementations to change budget, now to attack the budget, to require budget, to formulate our budgetary needs, to speak about money for women's rights, for women's world, for justice, from this practical and quite ideological. Uh, Norgul, you have rightly believed in going from global to local to empower women and girls to achieve gender equality. How can forums like APFF contribute to integrating that particularly SDG 5 which talks of uh, gender equality into local sustainable development strategies and targets. Such forums played and I'm sure will play a significant role in advancing partnership between women's organizations mm -hmm. and partnerships is key. We partner with ourselves, we partner with local authorities, we partner with government, we together struggle uh, for our common goals. And I think there are different level of uh, and different types of women's organizations. Somebody working on very practical needed things like how to provide shelter. Somebody is working how to advocate for legislation at the global level. They all are extremely needed and but they need this knowledge should be shared. Those who are working, for example, on violence, domestic violence against women in the shelter, for them it is very beneficial to know that there, are, there is a work going on to ensure that governments, private business, is allocating money for such shelters, for women's needs. So these forums provide networking opportunities, sharing expertise, capacity building, and bringing confidence to women that we are going in the right direction, that we are strong. If we doubt, we get again, uh, regain confidence. And I think such forums provide this opportunity to not only share, provide, but also to take, be stronger. For local, such forums are important because they, I remember one of our activists from rural area, when she was with us going to New York, mm -hmm. and she told, look, these women have the same problems as we in my village and she is coming here and she was surprised. She thought something is different. A lot of things are so common. So that actually I was watching her activism and we were interacting with each other and now she is, she is working so effectively to localize, uh, for example, uh, SDG goal number five to increase women's political participation, to decrease violence. And that's, uh, and being in a very local setting, she is making reference, you know, it's a global commitment, it's a global issue. So actually, that is where we need to reach, that local level you are talking of, that, that is important to carry the message, what we learn here at the forum, to take it to that level, because that is an, and I, I, I agree with you, Nurgul, because the more dialogues we have, because I have spoken to women over small, uh, maybe YouTube videos, and I've got replies like, well, and from rural areas, from hill, hill areas, hilly and rural areas of India, that how could you get the courage of saying that in an open forum? We also believe in what you are saying, but we did not have the courage because and confidence. We, yes, and confidence, because we did not know that there are other people who are also thinking the same way. So that, that is important, I think. Yes. I totally agree with you. The whole sense of organizing such events yes. is to put, support local. Yes. Because the whole global world mm -hmm. is a combination of small global places. Yes. And we are coming somewhere just in order to get uh, 
get something f to bring in our places. Yes, and as you said, for that uh, the woman you were talking of, the problems are the same. Means even earlier, I used to think that we, of course in Asia we have sp certain specific problems of the global south. But uh, once I was talking to some uh, women, I think it was at the airport or somewhere in some meeting, and many of the problems, particularly of that patriarchal setup, even though Western women, they were also feeling that, and they said it is not very different in our society. So then, uh, like you feel you are united in a cause and from different spheres of life. Absolutely. And, Nurbul, anything else you would like to share or any message you would like to give to we women and we feminists? I, we, I think feminism is a good word to talk of. Um, maybe only one thing. Yes. It would be great to continue to be brave. Yes. Be brave. Mm -hmm. Take responsibility. Because nobody will give us this opportunity to take responsibility and decide our own lives. So we, ha we have to take it. We have to take it. Nobody gives us. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you, Nurgul, for your time. And it is always such a pleasure meeting you and speaking with you. You know, it fills us with energy. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank it's you. a big pleasure and honor.